Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Stick for a Body. Yes, it's not the most creative name out there, but what do you want from me? It's four in the frickin' morning. I'll be your guide into the wonderful world of Flash. Ready to learn? No? Well, too bad. Alright, first things first. What exactly is Flash? Flash is a computer program used to create animation and other multimedia projects. Flash can be used to make movies, websites, games, portfolios, pretty much anything you want. Like right now, you're watching a Flash movie. And a great one, might I add. <laughs> I'm a loser. Despite how complicated Flash may look on the outside, it's really an easy program to use. Let's first open up Flash and see what we find. Looks like a bunch of buttons and crap, doesn't it? Alright, let's break this down. On the left of the screen, you'll see a bunch of little icons. These are your tools. You will use them to draw, paint, erase, and color your project. I, for example, was drawn with a paintbrush tool. I just scream sexy, don't I? In the middle of the screen, you will find a white box. This is called your stage. When you export your finished product, everything inside the box will be visible. Everything outside will not. Basically, you draw out all your characters, backgrounds, and objects right here in the stage. On the right of the screen, you'll see your library. A library is a place that holds all of your symbols. What are symbols? Symbols are reusable objects that you created on stage. There are three types of symbols. Graphics, buttons, and movie clips. Graphics are static images, like this tree. It doesn't move, doesn't do anything, it's just a tree. The next type of symbol is a button. Buttons are graphics that can be clicked on. Like this. Try clicking on it. Cool, huh? The final type of symbol is a movie clip. Movie clips are reusable pieces of flash animation. They're like graphics, except you can animate them within your movie. At the very top of the screen, you'll find the most important tool in Flash, the timeline. The timeline controls all of your actions on the stage. If you want a car to move from point A to point B, you would do so on the timeline using a tween, which I'll explain later. You can also edit the length of your movie and where to place certain objects on the stage. Last but not least are the layers. Layers keep your shapes and objects well organized. It's easy to find exactly what you're looking for when using layers, and besides, who wants all their media cluttered up anyway? To create a new layer, simply click on this folder icon here. Keyframes are also very important when using Flash. Keyframes control what action happens on the timeline and when. Let's say you want a car to be shown on the stage. First, you must draw your car and put it on the stage under the first keyframe. Yes, that's a car. Shut up, it's four in the morning, I'm tired. Now you can drag the keyframe through the timeline to wherever point you want. The car will now be shown for the amount of time you set. So let's say you want a bird to pass by the car. You would create a new layer and a new keyframe with a bird on the stage. Now the bird can be moved either above or behind the car depending on the order of the layers. That's it for the basics, now it's time to learn some techniques. One of the most popular ones is called tweening. Tweening is the term for Flash to automatically move an object from point A to point B. So let's try that now. First draw an object like uh, a rock. Now on the first keyframe, right click and hit create motion tween. Figure out where you want the rock to move. We're animating at 30 frames per second, so let's put the rock at exactly one second. Right click here and hit insert keyframe. Flash automatically animates at 12 frames per second, although you can change it by double clicking here. So now your tween is all done. Hit enter and watch it go. Well, that's all the time I have for you today. Remember, this was only an intro to Flash. If you want to improve your skills even more, check out some online tutorials that cover more advanced techniques. And be sure to practice hard every day. I'm Mr. Stick for a body. Good day.